Entrepreneurship policy has a demanding objective of addressing complex market failures as well as cultural barriers that hamper activities of young innovative ventures. In order to do so, a policy uses and allocates resources that are inherently scarce. Combination of these scant inputs and carried out activities leads to results. It is vital to understand whether a specific policy, that is, the used inputs and carried out activities related to a specific policy instrument, leads to the desired outputs, outcomes and most importantly, the desired impact. The best way to do that is to try to quantify, measure, observe and eventually assess the policy and by that facilitate evidence-based decision-making. This process that establishes links between the past, present and future actions is what we call monitoring and evaluation. Monitoring and evaluation is a growing area in governance on both national and international levels, not only for its great importance, but also due to the steep development of techniques from social sciences and technology for data collection and analysis, which enables more efficient execution. To give an example of the role of monitoring and evaluation, if pressed to do something quickly, governments can reach a situation where the policy have consumed the anticipated resources without actually creating the intended benefits for the entrepreneurial ecosystem. Monitoring and evaluation are meant to prevent exactly this. First, monitoring enables constant tracking whether we are going in the right direction to achieve the planned outputs so we can react timely if we are not doing so. Second, evaluation can tell whether these outputs are leading to the anticipated outcomes and eventually creating desired impact, which facilitates factual and objective reflection about the policy and allows potential adjustments for the future. By that, monitoring and evaluation tools can facilitate more careful utilization of public money and resources. In this set of lectures, we will try to lay down the most important technical and practical aspects of these processes and explain the key concepts, terminology and tools that are useful to create well-functioning monitoring and evaluation practices. Monitoring and evaluation concepts are strictly tied and complement each other, but also have important differences. First, let's define monitoring in more detail. Policy implementation monitoring refers to the process of detecting how the program is doing through the, a systematic and routine collection of information. It is performed while a policy program is being implemented with the aim of improving the project design and functioning while in action. It enables reacting in real time to the changes that could not have been foreseen and are possible and worth immediately reacting to. Monitoring is a continuous process typically carried out internally by the agents who are implementing the policy. For example, monitoring is like a dashboard of a car. It tells the driver basic information about the conditions of the car, how much gas is left in the tank, what is the temperature of the oil, how many kilometers it has traveled, and so on. On the other hand, evaluation is defined as a systematic and unbiased assessment of anticipated and achieved results with the goal of understanding the non-obvious outcomes and impact that is being created. Evaluation is the final step in the policy process and provides assessment of the current policy program, but also suggests ways forward. The objective of policy evaluation is to answer the following questions. First, how effective is the policy? That is, does the policy achieve the expected results? Second, what is the impact? Does the policy and the achieved result really make a significant difference? Third, was the policy efficient? That is, are the results achieved with reasonable costs? And finally, is the impact of the policy sustainable? And will the impact continue even after the policy program or should it be continuously implemented? Evaluation should be performed by external independent evaluators such as international organizations, NGOs, specialized governmental agencies or research institutions and universities. That is, evaluation should be done by the agents who are able to provide a more objective and unbiased assessment. An example is analysis and evaluation of a trip made by car. Did the driver reach the desired destination? Did the driver get there by following the planned optimal route? Did the driver arrive there in time? How much did the trip cost? As previously stated, while monitoring and evaluations usually go hand in hand, there are a number of important dissimilarities. First, there is a difference in who is carrying out the activity. Monitoring is done internally typically by the policy program managers, while evaluation is typically done externally by independent agents. Second, there is a difference in terms of when the two activities are carried out. Monitoring is done continuously during the whole period of the implementation of the policy, while evaluation is performed 
after the policy program, typically at the very end of the implementation process. Third, there is a difference in what is being done. Monitoring is focused on observing the ongoing implementation of the policy, while evaluation is concerned with the analysis of the outcomes and impact generated by the implemented policy. Finally, there is a difference in why the two activities are carried out. Monitoring is conducted with the goal of supporting the management of the policy program and reducing risks of not reaching the preset objectives. Evaluations, on the other hand, are intended to assess the overall value of the policy program.